Have you tried tahini? This nutty, creamy paste is made from ground hulled sesame seeds. It's used in spreads, dips, sauces, and dressings. You can find tahini in cans or jars in health food shops and many supermarkets. We love it in hummus, the centerpiece of our beautiful Middle Eastern platter. It's vibrant, full of fresh flavor, and best of all, can be assembled within minutes. So what I've done is drained and rinsed two cans of chickpeas, 15 ounce cans. I rinsed them just to get most of the sodium off. It actually reduces the sodium a lot, but I did save a quarter cup of the liquid that it was packed in to help thin my hummus, which is what I'm making with the chickpeas. So put them into a food processor, and then to that you're gonna add two cloves of chopped garlic. If you don't like your hummus garlicky, you could use one clove of garlic here. That can go right into the food processor. And it gets a third of a cup of lemon juice. This adds a lot of flavor. This is that quarter cup of the packing liquid from the chickpeas, I'm gonna add that and a quarter of a cup of the tahini. A little bit of salt. This just gets a tiny pinch of cayenne pepper. That's it, puree it. Great, that looks about right. I'm just gonna use this as the base for a really great Mediterranean salad platter. This makes quite a bit, you can Use some of it for this salad platter. Keep it in your refrigerator. Whenever you want to serve it, you can. And then with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil drizzled over the top, like that. And just a pinch of paprika. It adds a little color, a little bit of smoky flavor. Now for the salad, a really nice salad. The first thing I'm gonna do is make a dressing and then I'm gonna toss a bunch of vegetables in there. It's a lemon-based dressing. We're going with the lemon theme here. Three tablespoons of lemon juice, and I do know that these are quite juicy, so I think one will be fine. It's a really tangy, nice dressing. Lemon juice is not nearly as acidic as vinegar. We usually recommend when you're making a vinegar dressing to do like a three to one, where you have three parts of olive oil. Lemon juice is a little more forgiving, so it doesn't have to be quite that much. Season it with salt and pepper. And then just whisk in about a tablespoon of olive oil. If you find that this is a little too tangy for you, then you can add a little bit more olive oil. Don't worry about it. That's it, super simple, very lovely light dressing. What I've done, is ahead of time I've prepped all of my ingredients for a really delicious salad. What I have here is one English cucumber, removed the seeds with a spoon and then cut it into dice, about a cup of chopped parsley, and one onion that's been diced. And I kept it in a separate plastic bag so that you didn't get too much of the onion aroma with the other vegetables until you want them combined. Four plum tomatoes. I prefer to wait until I want to serve it and then cut up my tomatoes. I just prefer not to put them into the refrigerator if I don't have to. Use your spoon and just scrape along inside of the tomato to get the seeds out. So then those get diced up the same size as the cucumbers. That's about two cups. All I have to do is toss it together. And that's going to go right on the platter with the hummus. It's really beautiful and fresh. Things like this, salads and stuff, are really, really great to have on hand. Maybe get people are coming over and you don't know. There you go. So, just spoon it on. You can arrange this in any decorative way that you want. It's gonna have a couple more ingredients added to it, so leave a little bit of room on your platter. last two ingredients are feta cheese and this is a block of feta 
that I'm just going to cut into slabs. That way people can serve themselves as little or as much as they want. They can take it. It's nice. It's a beautiful presentation. So now it's got such a creamy and lovely texture and a tangy flavor that's really great. These are Kalamata olives and they have been pitted. They're a really great sort of purplish, very, very tangy olive and I love them. And you can put as little or as many. The recipe calls for about a cup. So arrange them decoratively on your platter. These are just regular six inch round pitas and you can cut them into wedges so that people can take a couple. If you wanted to, you could toast this, which would be nice. If you wanted to just toast it or serve it warm, that would be nice too. As big or small as you want. Great. That's all ready. Now I have a lovely wine here that I'm going to serve with my Middle Eastern platter. It's a Riesling. It's a nice dry wine that so actually, sometimes the Riesling grape is a little bit sweet, but this is a nice dry Riesling. This wine is a great accompaniment to my Middle Eastern platter, which can be assembled in minutes, but is elegant enough for company.